And we're back in the game with some more Total War Rome Remastered, playing as the Ptolemy. Ah, love that Rome 1 soundtrack. Although I'm not too sure if, uh, probably when, we get Medieval 2 Remastered, they should actually try to improve on the soundtrack in Medieval 2. It is awesome, but... Uh, should we wait until there's a Medieval 3 for a better soundtrack, or not? Now, we have Bostra under siege. Hopefully we can take it this time. Do we have troops on here? No. We don't have any troops there. We've got some money left over. I think we're recruiting everywhere. Or everywhere that we needed to. Such as up here. And over here. And over here, we did have to pull back the army that we had besieging, and that's currently right here. Uh, if we're going to be facing this one, which does have a general, we're going to need some extra troops. Well, we've got more units, but let's see if we can give them anything good. Right, we can't retrain these. Not over here. So we could give the chariots over there. Right. We do have a ship. We'll be able to pick up units from here very, very soon. So let's get some more units. Can't really get anything amazing over here. We are still working on our economy, I guess. Not doing anything here. Yeah, I was reluctant to build up the port because there's only three ports that we can trade over here. So that might not be the best use. The market might be better. Now, unfortunately, we've got some enemies heading over in this direction. Better get another unit in. Let's get some cab because. Most of those are going to be uh, missile units, aren't they? Skirmishers. They love to put in skirmishers. Uh, that's our general. Were we going to try to rush him back there? No, I think he came of age, didn't he? Yeah. Right. Uh, we need to build up your population. Okay, there's a diplomat, but we also have a merchant as well. Right, where's our other diplomat? Uh, over in Iberia. Right. No, oh, there's a full stack of Carthage. Yeah, I think Carthage is concentrating on Iberia and then leaving North Africa alone, which doesn't help us too much as their ally. Let's give it an end turn. Or well, are we close enough? We're close enough to draw out the reinforcements. That will only give us about equal numbers. Can we get any more units? No, none from there. Hmm. It is a risk. It's a risk. We could take out those fairly easily. It's the faction leader who we fought several times and who's been able to beat us. I think I'd rather have him attack Jerusalem. Uh, there's a Seleucid spy. And what happened to that army? They just disappeared. Where did they disappear to? Did they come up here? Or not? They're definitely getting ships from somewhere else. Now, they even have a diplomat on board that one. Okay. Bring those over to this port. Uh, they've turned back. They've turned their backs on us. Uh, 
That's a couple extra units. We could always send them along the coast, I guess. And we've got 7,000 with 5,000 coming into the treasury. So I think we've talked to everyone over here. I do want to see what's going on. See? They actually have uh, some line infantry there. Ah, we knocked somebody out. We don't have a chance of beating him. But yeah, uh, the Numidians have Lepsis Magna. Hmm. Okay. Right. I mean, we have offered them a peace treaty, but they don't want to go for that. Hmm. I'd be tempted to take those out and challenge them. I would be. We now have to be careful with our fleets out here picking up troops. Right, get them over there. We're not too happy about that. Yeah, quite a big difference in price. Alright, so what happened to that general? Well, we go and sit on that bridge. That should be a good position. Aha, he pulled away as well. Right. That's the three that we just moved in. Let's see how many we could take out. Uh, don't know if we can get away with taking out a lot more. Okay, that's 13. They're uh, still somewhat happy. What do we need in there? We've got a lot of spearmen, probably some missile units, right? Okay. And that's probably an upgrade. Hmm. Heavy chariots. He's definitely coming over to relieve the siege of Bostra. Right, they have their own chariots there. Six units. Sixteen. So we should outnumber them. I don't know if that would be enough to beat them. Right, we're going to send... Where am I going to send them? Am I going to send them up to threaten... What was that? Damascus? No, no, Palmyra, or do I send him over here against their leader? Tough choices we have. Right, let's go for our messages first. So we've got some extra military buildings. Now one port. Ah oh, yes, let's go to Cadonia. Still got 6,300. That should be making some good money by now. That is over halfway to operating in any case. Right. Still decent populations over here. Right. Some of those cavalry. I think we just need to recruit as many as possible from everywhere. No holding back. Uh, I still think the Seleucids would 
just a small amount of territory, and remember they don't have that many, are right, producing us despite beating them all the time in battle. Right. What other messages did we have? Most advanced, that's us. Ooh, that's good. Uh, good for us, yes. Very good indeed. I guess I forgot to move in. Ah, oh, we got an, achieve, uh, an achievement. Attrition realness. I'll have to look up what that one is. Uh, don't know how I got that. That was in the intern. Okay, you know what? Uh, I expect we'll have a bigger battle against the Seleucids. So, with the balance of power that much in our favour, this either will go very, very well or very, very badly. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> uh, that did go rather well, didn't it? That went rather well. Now, where do they retreat to? That's the question. Because I'm going to take those two extra units and send Malkaia with him. He can just reach them. Right, they must have uh, retreated over here somewhere. There they are. Oh no, that's a whole another stack. Whole another stack. A full stack. Alright, that's the one we saw up here. A lot of missile troops. Again, I'm surprised that merchant didn't come back and try to knock him off. Alright, so he's not actually making anything here, is he? I mean, you can actually put them into order manage. So, I guess we'll move him. Find some uh, better resources somewhere. Is that another army? That's another 15 units, this time with uh, archers. Alright, we need to get rid of the Seleucids because we're already on a two front war and uh, we could lose a lot of territory in North Africa. Alright, you're already at war. Let's try to get some money though. Right. Half blocked, blocked, and agent has been found. Right. All units recruited. Patrician realness. Yeah. Wonder what that's all about. What was that all about? How many troops do we have up here? Well, I don't think we could take out too many from there in any case. So he didn't attack. We could try to order resolve that. Let's see. Yeah. That's worth it, because he's going to have to besiege it. And he... Well, I'm not that happy. I can't move that, right? Yeah, WASD. Extermination has occurred. Alright. Would like a better wall. Apparently they didn't have much military infrastructure. Hmm. Well, looks like it's probably just that unit then. And an armor upgrade on all of those. I'm gonna drop it down. How's this one doing? Let's get another temple in there. Alright, so he's going after them. We don't have to worry about their reinforcements. I say we go after him. Let's go after him. 
And they don't seem to be doing anything up here. Right, could you take him out? Almost certainly not. Not sure if we can retrain you there. Trireme, right? Byreme. Byreme. Ah, uh, we can retrain you over there, but I don't think we'd actually make it. What about down here? No, nope, can't even retrain you there. Alright, probably have to come all the way over here. Alright, agents in there. That's the one who was up here, he's come back. Alright. Again, we can block him. We can't quite reach him though. Right, we can't get archers from there. That's one of the few places we can get archers, I think. So let's get some archers instead. We need to do something about the public order as well. So we don't need to leave as many troops behind. Uh, what else is good for public order? The execution square. Okay, we didn't put any temple in over here though. New traits and followers, good. Uh, let's go with the academy. Right. Population growth, okay, that's an extra 1%. And public order 20, we might change that at some point. Right. Let's see if we can kill off the uh, enemy leader. It's always satisfying. If we could. Oh, he disappeared up north towards Damascus. Right. Candidate for adoption. Where did he show up? Okay, that was, I guess, convenient enough. Right. So we've got two units coming in up here. What happened to them? Did they come on down? Yeah, there they are. Got to keep an eye on them. We don't have enough to stop them. We've got five units we could take, plus two. Can we not land over here? Almost looks like you could land there. Right. Because they look like they're coming directly over here. Right. Any mercenaries? Yep. Well, I was hoping to catch up to him. Hmm. Can't even take out that many units. You're at 17. We've got that agent right in the middle blocking us. Okay, you can get around. Yeah, we can take out a lot of units from here. Hmm, I keep getting interrupted by people. 
namely my wife. Uh, right. Well, the cavalry can get in there for certain. Red, you want to kill their faction leader? Oh, uh, is upkeep is 1,479? No, it couldn't be. That'll be as a recruitment cost, right? Hmm. Well, let's see if we need to extend this episode so we can get him. And what's happened to that one? It's gone away again. I'm going to follow him. I'm going to knock him out. Okay, because that's Pontic territory, but that's a red border? No. Dark blue and red, so that's Pontus up there as well, I think. So where does he keep coming from? Where does he keep coming from? Right. Uh, 5,400 left. Let's get even more troops in. Okay, he can be retrained there. More archers. What's their uh, uh, retraining? I think we can justify that. Never helps us in battle. Got plenty of skirmish troops there. And cavalry. Right. Some of those can't be retrained there. Namely, you and you. I think it's just those two. So, get them in here. See about retraining those. Right. Got three cavalry there. That's enough. Um, one of them messages. That might help us. We need somebody else to go to war with them. Like thieves. Thieves in the night. Like thieves in the night. Right. Well, we've got 2700 left. I really don't see that much of use for it. Uh, that's a bit expensive. Well, it does bump up your economy a bit. We've got a very large population. Maybe we need to just do something for public order though. Let's hold off because we might need that money next turn. I really wish we could have sold it in. I've uh, got my ship and my diplomat. Both of which we'll need half blocked. Okay, so I didn't finish the turn. There we go. Right, he's besieged Damascus. Sorry, Damascus. Can we get to him this time? We can. We can. Okay, and I pulled back. But hopefully that means we can draw in the garrison, does it? Yes. Yes it does. But you know what? Uh, we're already over the time limit. So, we are going to fight him next time. It does mean that we can bring in another thousand troops. What do they look like? Okay, another general in that case. All infantry though. Whereas we have Lots of cavalry in this one. That's good. Right. Next episode, we are going to kill off that blasted Demetrius the Cunning. He won't be so cunning, but that's for another time and place. Well, actually the same place. You two. Any family member. Let's just take a look at those. We're still making good money though, it's always nice, but we'll be back.